Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can maintain meaningful and feasible content in our design. So let me give you the context. While designing, most of the time we end up duplicating the same component again and again. And by doing this process, what we end up with? We end up with having the same data all around the place. This is not good. This table is a perfect example of that. And we definitely don't want to submit it as our final output. First of all, this doesn't look good. And also, this does not convey the real meaning and use case of the data. So there is a quick fix to solve this problem. Uh, and we can do that by using a plugin named Contenter. So we are going to run it. And let us change the material price here all the prices inside the table so how we can do that let us select all the prices and i did that by holding down command and shift uh, in my keyboard together and dragged the cursor while selecting um, inside content too, you can see currency and uh, as all of our price fields are selected if we click on this currency it's going to change it it's going to do the magic so let us do that boom it's done so we have different prices in different cells so now um, in this way we can uh, you know maintain different content uh, in our design but the problem here is having custom data so how we can do that so this date would be a perfect example for that so uh, let us click all the dates here and this uh, let us also select this one and if we click on this one this gonna it's gonna give us this format of the date um so the name of the month comes first then the date then the year then the time and what if we don't want it what if we want a custom date format in our table uh, maybe we want this format like the name of the day first then the date then the month Maybe we don't want to show the year. So how we can do that? So we can do that over here using content the way to do it by creating our own custom database so here we can write up that but It's not feasible to write all the data at this point. So we can use chat gpt here so let us use chat gpt cool so let us ask chat gpt to make us those randomized date um like what i'm gonna write can you please make me 20 uh, not 20 15 random dates in this format and the format is the name of the day first then the date then the month and yep that's it we're gonna hit enter and chat is doing the magic cool so what you're gonna do here we we are going to select all the dates here copy it and we go back to Figma and inside content to uh, if we need to select this plus icon and here we are going to name uh, we are going to give it a name like maybe it's Asif's date and we are going to paste what we copied so we have our data here now if we click on create then it's going to create our database now all of our dates are already selected now if we click on this one it's going to do the magic uh, in our format so our format is the name of the day first then the date then the month so let us click on it boom done you see different dates and day month in different cells cool this is the way that we can maintain custom data inside our design and uh, this is another example so in this kanban board you can see there is 
the same kind of data everywhere because it is actually coming from the same components. We can use content here to maintain the content inside uh, the card. So let us change the names only. Everywhere is Stephen. So if we select all the Stephens here and there is a name thing, a name option here. So if we click on it, it's going to give us different name. Cool. So this is it. Uh, I hope you have learned something new and uh, I believe it's going to save you a lot of time uh, while designing. So, yep, this is it. Happy designing.